All right, guys. So it looks like the early election predictions might be coming true for all of Canada because the Bloc seems like they're turning their backs on Justin Trudeau. So they gave them kind of a basically an ultimatum saying, hey, if you don't give us what we want by late October, we're going to negotiate with other parties to try to force an election. So I got a, a quick video here from Yves Blanchet, who's the leader of the Bloc Quebecois, and he's going to basically um, explain why he's not very happy with the Justin Trudeau Liberal Party. So let's have a quick look at this video, and then we'll talk about it after, like usual. Bloc Quebecois leader Yves-François Blanchet says he will begin talks with other parties to bring down the government after the Liberals failed to meet his party's deadline to support two key bills. We said five weeks ago that if we were not received that, if 4 million Canadians between 65 and 74 years old were not received what we asked, if producer under supply management regime were not to get what we asked, we were to start discussing with opposition parties in order to have this government fall. Blanchet said the deadline last month, putting the Liberals on notice that they must adopt a pair of bills or face a possible election. The first bill aims to safeguard supply management in trade negotiations. The other raises old age security payments for seniors. Despite the deadline passing, Blanchet says if the Liberals begin negotiations with his party in the days ahead, his party will continue to support the minority government. If they give you what you ask for, even if it's after this date, does that mean they regain your support? Let's say that if they give us exactly all we have asked for before they fall, because if there's a vote tomorrow, they might fall tomorrow. We will look into it and we will be coherent with all what we have said so far. We want precisely what is in Bill 3, uh, C319 and in Bill C282. Bring that to us and we'll discuss it. In the meantime, we are seriously in danger to fall. All right. So, I mean, that's pretty interesting, right? So... As Yves Blanchet says, you know, they're very close to falling. Now, a lot of people uh, don't disagree with that because they think that the NDP will likely vote with the Liberals. So, in my opinion, what Pierre Polyev and the Conservatives and the Bloc need to do is come together quickly, negotiate as quickly as possible, bring, the uh, bring forward a, a, a motion of non-confidence, and make sure the vote is as quickly as possible so that the Liberals can't then deliver what the bloc wants. So you'd have the conservatives, you'd have the bloc. Now, is that enough to force an election? No, it's not. However, if the NDP, who apparently, I mean, I don't know if they're lying or not, it seems like they are, but they keep saying they're tired of the liberals too, but they don't want to help the conservatives. Well, what they could do is abstain from the vote. They could just not participate, removing themselves completely and saying, look, don't like the liberals, don't like the conservatives, whatever happens, happens. Or, what you could have is you could have some of those 40 liberal MPs who are very disgruntled right now, and they could essentially turn on Justin Trudeau and join the bloc and the um, and the conservatives essentially voting with them to have an, an election. Because those folks who are liberal M MPs are going around door knocking in their ridings, and they're being told, hey, listen, if Trudeau's at the top of the ticket, I'm not voting for you. So they're going to lose their jobs. Now, maybe if they vote for a, um, a vote of non-confidence, maybe some of those liberal MPs will get some enough support back. I don't see that happening, but they got to try something, right? They can't just give up. So maybe that's what we see happen. Maybe we see the some of the liberals come over and vote with us, with Canada. Maybe the NDP abstains. It's not impossible for that to happen, guys. And I really do think that I'm going to have to change my prediction here. I thought we were going to have to wait until April or May to have an election. Uh, I, you know, no takes these backs. He's like, yes, but I'm going to just change my prediction and admit that I was wrong because it looks like we're going to have an election before Christmas. That's not a promise. It's not a guarantee, but it looks like that's what's going to happen. And I really hope that I'm right on this one. I really don't, <laughs> I really don't want to make another video and say, Hey guys, sorry, I was wrong again. I really hope that we can just get the election that we need, the election that we deserve, 
so that we can get a common sense government in there to undo all these horrific financial mistakes from the Liberal Party. So let me know in the comments section what you guys think. Do you think that there's going to be an early election? Because more and more people are predicting that now. This was unheard of, you know, three, four, five, even six months ago. Now it's getting interesting. But let me know what you guys think. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe as it really does help grow the channel. Thanks again so much for watching, guys, and I'll be back shortly with a new video.